Hello viewers, this is Evelyn of Libabuhai. Today I will be showing you the plants that I have on the top floor of our home. This is the floor where all the bedrooms of my boys are. And this area is actually a little TV room. So there's a little TV there. And I will be showing you the plants that I have here. And it seems like all these plants that I have are really having a very good time here. It's because they can usually get a lot of sunlight. Now it's more sunny here in Sweden. It's the month of February. And uh, as you see, my plants are growing good. But the sad thing is... There are times that I forget, there are times that I don't have time to come up and clean them. So I will show you how they look like when I was not able to take, you know, uh, the dry lays. And that is a lot of things to do uh, that is can, that can be, you know, much, much better for the plants. So I will show you each plant that I have. Here I have this one and as you see, it was actually feeling good before. But then now it's, you know, it has this kind of thing here. And it's because there was a week when I was sick two weeks ago. And the whole week I had, I was feeling so bad. So I was not able to come up and clear the plants here. So I have one plant here that I really have to take out all this one. And I'm glad it's growing there down. So all I do is just, I just have to cut this one. And I'm glad because now it's uh, beginning to be sunny. So this area, they get a lot of sun. So as you see here, I have a lot of plants. And if you wonder why I use this one, these are actually, how do you say it? These are actually recycled. As you see here, uh, it's, it's actually... Uh, uh, cookies in this one the reason why i save them it's because uh yeah why will i buy if i can have all these things to have it they can hold water up to here so the thing is that normally i water them and then they can have a lot of water here so anyway it's just you know uh giving water to the plant all the time so if you forget to water it still has water here but when the time when I was really sick, I just forgot and I just, you know. Uh, but anyway, they survive. These kind of plants just survive. So what you see, I have a lot of things to clean. Like this is a coleus. So as you see, this coleus actually is like the some of the branches torn into green. And the other branches torn like that. And as you see, the color is very different. And it's because it's not too much sunlight normally when it's summer i put them out and when you put them out and they are exposed to a lot of sunlight the color of the leaves will actually be like i can say more than five colors get a combination of yellow orange and it's it's actually the 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 sunlight that gives them to enhance more color and this one oh sorry look what i did this one was out, you know. That is the thing with colleagues. They're very, uh, they are very easy to, you know. But it's no worry. I will plant this one. Uh, so, I have this one. It's a very big colleague. So, as you see, it looks like, you know, it looks like that. And if you look at the colleagues, they grow a lot on this side. And it's because it's that side that it's a lot of you know sunlight to get uh, and if you encounter uh, things like this with your colleagues that is you know flowering uh, take it out because uh, you want the colleagues to grow more by its leaves and if you let the flowers grow big it can affect actually the growth of the colleagues so as you see here i have more colleagues and here i have a poinsettia here in the philippines we actually call this plant san francisco i don't know here in sweden or the real name of it if somebody watching this uh, video please write uh, there down i for i totally forgot the name of that uh, plant this one that one i totally forgot so this one is my poinsettia sad to say that this uh, past 
Christmas, they never turn into red, and I know why. It's because uh, uh, there were times that it really gets so dry. Quincetia has to dry it up, but not maybe like dried up in a week. Uh, because that is the thing with Pincitia, you cannot have them very wet on a, on a long time. They don't like it. They have to be uh, they have to be watered, and then when they're wet, let them dry. You have they have to be dried up for like a day. But then if it exceeds a day that they are totally dried up, then it's not good for them either. So if you wonder, some people, they buy poinsettia during the Christmas and after Christmas, like the water and water and their poinsettia died. And it's because poinsettia need to be dried up sometime. Uh, I think I have a video about poinsettia. So if you look at my garden playlist, you can find really a lot of different kinds of plants. And I give them the tips and very good information about caring them. So as you see, I also have this one, and I forgot the name too. I have a lot of plants, but uh, some of them, sometimes I just forget the name. This is actually my pineapple. I have a video about how I propagate pineapple. And if you are wondering how to propagate wine, pineapple, just go to my gardening playlist and you will see how I propagated it. This pineapple is being propagated from a pineapple I bought in a grocery store. Yes, you can propagate pineapple from those you buy in grocery stores. And it's not very common here in Sweden that people will plant pineapple. In fact, there are even plants uh, that are, uh, how do you say it, uh, the flower plant that looks like pineapple, but they are not really, you know, the exact pineapple but this one it's not actually like an a flower or whatever this is actually a real pineapple i planted it it's because my husband uh my husband wonder if we can grow pineapple and i said yeah we can grow pineapple and we'll see how will it be so as you look at it it is really growing very healthy and big it's amazing but there is one thing there is one thing i found out just now you know there are no thorns here oh my god that is amazing because pineapple i grow i i'm i'm from the philippines and you know having pineapple everywhere is just very common but here in sweden you can never find people planting pineapple in the gardens because they don't survive when it's winter like this as you see we still have winter. Our winter is up to March. And I just hope that by April we will have a total real spring. Anyway, we go back to the pineapple. As you see here, pineapple usually have thorns on the side. There, on the side. But this one, look. There are no thorns of this pineapple. That is really amazing. I never expect that there will be no thorns. So it means that... When you grow pineapple here inside, there are no thorns of it. It's really big. It is very interesting if this pineapple will really bear fruit. We will see. I have it for like two years already, I think. I don't know, a year. And uh, yeah, as, as what I said, if you want to propagate pineapple, then I have a video uh about propagating pineapple and it looks like that and i planted it it's because my husband likes to have a pineapple plant so in my house we have actually a pineapple plant we have a guava plant we have and 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 mind you i i all all these plants that i name you i have videos of it so just go to my gardening channel and then you will actually see uh, information all about those plants that I name here. So normally the pineapple plant will actually bear fruit like there in the middle. So we will see how will it be. So as what I said, pineapple that I have here inside, because this is the first time I had a pineapple plant inside the house, a pineapple plant actually doesn't have, they don't get their thorns when they are indoor. Now I can I can say that because I don't see any thorns. 
uh, I see some here on the top and let's see it's hard to see and only that just on the tip of it there are some very small thorns or but the rest of it there are no thorns so it's like that so as you see it looks like that there the the third floor or the top floor of our house is actually we are our our area is actually more elevated than the other area so as you see all the other houses there are just down in uh, in front of us uh, that is actually the nature reserve that i usually i usually take a walk so people my friends are in youtube they know that already a lot of people here knows me my friends are in youtube and you know already the forest that i usually go in which is a nature reserve uh, or a nature park uh, that is the one uh, so if you go on the opposite side then you will see our house and uh, it's very much elevated that is why it's it's we are very much higher than the other level there of the other houses so so it's like that uh, i have shared to you all the plants that i have here and uh, it looks like that so it's a kind of mess i will not take a video of the rest because you know this floor is actually all my boys are leaving here so it's kind of you know as of now it's not it's things everywhere so i will just only take this area where i have and uh, yeah i have a loudspeaker there uh, but anyway uh, that one has to be taken so that is how it looks like uh, so this is the area where you can really have a very nice view you can even have a view of a local road there uh, and the school of my kids you only walk like three minutes from here so like that so this is how it looks like and our front yard it's not yet done we live here already for like two years uh, no it will be two years in september this coming september it means we are living here for like two years already so our front yard is actually not done uh, we will be doing making a garden also of the front yard and it's it's not yet done but anyway i have all my plants prepared so when the time pine trees and all this thing or the thuya if the time comes that that is already ready for planting then i have already all my plants ready so i hope that uh, you enjoyed these things that i shared today and for those who are not yet my subscriber please don't forget to subscribe and see you again next time